Hello there my friends, this is the boy and his dog, and welcome to Retro Edition, where I continue my mission to play and review every game released on the Evercade, old and new. In today's video we take a deeper pictures at Super Breakout, the penultimate game on the 4th Evercade arcade cart, Atari Arcade 1. So, without further ado, let's get started. Super Breakout is a block breaker puzzle game released by Atari for the arcades in 1978. Now, let's get the obvious issues out of the way first. This game has a lot in common with Pong. The controls are not perfect with a normal D-pad, but nowhere near unplayable. In fact, it's easier to get the timing down than it is in Pong. And just as before the bat, here being the same width as the bricks, is a little too short. The way the ball is thrown at you from a random location after a loss can frustratingly lose your life more often than you would like. And that's when we come to the real clincher, none of these issues would matter as much if it weren't for the fact you only get three sodding lives. But regardless of all that, the game still has a lot to recommend. First off, I love the vibrant colours, they really pop in 1080p. I also love that we have three different modes to play, which we can slip back and forth from, and each retains a separate high score. The three modes are different enough that if you do click with the game, there's three different challenges to keep you coming back to time and again. First up, there's progression mode, where like many later puzzle games, the blocks will slowly start to move down the screen, revealing new lines at the top. I found this the hardest mode but the most fun and frantic, and due to the space between clumps of bricks, if you can get up there, your score will skyrocket as the ball bounces up and down in a manic but satisfying way. Second is cavity mode. I was initially scared that teeth may be involved, but no. It just means there are two balls trapped in spaces between the bricks. As you're clearing the screen, you will eventually crack a path open to the balls, giving yourself an extra projectile to attack the remaining bricks. Unless you're like me and lose the bonus balls immediately. In this mode, the bricks do not move down the screen, taking some of the pressure off. And the third mode gives you two bats to play with, one above the other. Your controls move them both at the same time. Now in many ways this is the easiest mode to play. Number one, the bricks do not move down the screen. And number two, the second bat is higher up, nearer to the bricks, and therefore easier to line up the trajectory with your eyes and hit the ball. Also, if you miss time with the top bat, you have the bottom one as a last line of defense. Sometimes they throw a second ball at you, and if I could keep both balls going for any length of time, I would be a happy chappy. But alas, it's never the case. Another interesting feature across all three modes is your rebound speed increases depending on the colour of the bricks. If you're about to hit an orange one, beware it's going to come back at ridiculous speeds. Overall, the game initially felt rock hard with the controls tiny bat and lack of lives before I get you, got used to the limitations. And while this is still a slight issue, it's by no means a deal breaker. In fact, it just means if the bat was a little wider, the controls were a little tighter and the stock of lives was a little more generous, this game would have been top tier. As it stands, I do like this game. It has great ideas and can be a lot of fun if you have the patience for it. But it is slightly let down by the three problems noted earlier. And if you've made it here to the end of the video, thank you very much for joining me. Please leave a thumbs up or a comment if you would like. Either way, I'm just chuffed you, poked your head in the door to take a gander. Join me in the next video when we'll be taking a deeper butchers at the final game on the Atari Arcade Collection, Warlords. I hope you have an awesome day, my friends. And until next time, be seeing you.